guys, we have seen before the liquid phase PFR. We're going to analyze now the gas phase and what's going to change. Essentially, we're going to change that the volumes are not constants. And what does that mean? That concentrations, of course, cannot be modeled uh, as constant or not the concentration per se, but the volumes. You know, concentration is actually moles per volume. So this volume is not any more constant, so we will need to do this. Typical gas phase operation means we're going to assume turbulent flow, plug flow profile, so we still have our plug flow here. No dispersion, no radial gradients, so you will see the pipeline. You have no changes in temperature if you're here or here or here, depending on the concentrations. No pressure drop, isothermal operation, steady state. Uh, perfect. Let's do it. First thing I want to tell you is that we're going to model first order and second order. Uh, I'm going to do two videos. First video is going to be first order and second video will be of course second order. We need a new model of concentration which we actually already know it. It's from chapter 2 but I just wanted to make a note. So remember that by definition the concentration of A is the moles per second divided by the volumetric flow rate per second or volume per second. So second and second goes and you have moles per volume. Now the thing here is that F of A changes with conversion so that's why we're modeling like here and the volume of course changes depending on the change in moles and conversion. So we're modeling that change here. So having this, we can model any time or at least in any conversion, the concentration. Perfect. So let's hit it. First order, let's analyze the effect of changing moles. Remember this sigma or I don't know. Yeah, I think it's like a sigma. Express this equation in terms of concentration. So we got our flow volumetric flow, we have that here, we just substitute for our new volumetric flow rate, see how it's depending on the initial volumetric flow rate and the change, so this change might be as well as 1. When is the case when you either have epsilon equals to 0 or x equals to 0, which makes sense because it's the beginning. So normally x won't be always 0 and epsilon is, by definition, the change in moles of volume times the mole fraction. So mole fraction at the beginning won't change. The only thing that changes is the sigma. So if sigma is zero, we have no changes and our volumetric flow rate will remain the same. Now, yeah, essentially I get at the end this final expression for the concentration of A at any moment. Now let's analyze this effect. Good, we have this plug flow reactor and this is first order, so that's why I only got this concentration here. My design equation is this one, volume equals F of A at the beginning, and this integral that depends on rate of reaction. Uh, you know that this is the same as this here. You know also that I have substituted this value here, which is this value here, in this place. So what I'm going to do is make further substitutions. Before we only used probably you remember from the liquid we only used the above or this part but no we need now to substitute not only this part that we use it but the correction for that volume change so you will see this part right here so you got a division or a fraction here which is under the uh, differential don't forget that this is dividing and this is actually multiplying as you send it here now, since k is a constant, you can take it away. Now, this, uh, I told you before, this is dividing, and this is actually multiplying, because it's dividing a division, so you are actually multiplying. So I got this from the book. Check out the appendix A5, and it will solve you this integral specifically. So this stays the same here, and all this stuff is my solve integral for this function from 0 to x. So I got 1 plus epsilon times natural logarithm of this 
division minus this part right here. Well, before going that, just wanted to tell you that if epsilon is zero, that means there's no change in volume. You will get this away, and this will be one, which means you will only have this. Nice. So yeah, essentially it's everything, guys. We're going to do this analysis here. The volume is here. So it's time to analyze this graph right here. We have, essentially this is a volume, sorry, I have no, let's say cubic meters. And I have conversion, you know, conversion has no units. It's only from zero to one. Um, yeah, conversion of this PFR. And what we're going to do essentially is to change the value of epsilon. You know, epsilon is actually just the change here because the, the mole fraction at the beginning is constant, so when I say change in epsilon, it's just the change in uh, moles of the reaction. So what happens when you have a negative change, when you have no change, when you have one extra mole and three extra moles? So perfect. Let's analyze first the base case, which is the green one. It's here. You can see that you need almost one cubic meter for having 90, maybe 99%. You need half for 90%. And to get to one, you need about 1.5 cubic meters. But what happens if, for example, I get a reaction in which I form extra, let's say, two moles, A and B. Well, actually, C and D. I'll wait for it. Yeah. Uh, okay, we work here. So you will need to, if you have A and then change to B, you will have one extra mole. You have one mole here, and here you have two moles, so the difference is two minus one, you have one mole, one extra mole. What does that mean is that with the same volume, you will achieve lower conversions. So let's say that with one cubic meter, I will achieve, I don't know, maybe 0.92, if I had one mole change, and if I've had zero mole change, I will be almost in one conversion. But that's very interesting that as you grow, you will need more volume. And makes sense because your tank is going to grow up. You need more space for that. Let's see, you have A plus B turn out to be 60. So the overall change is six moles into the products minus initial two, it's four. Well, we have three, so let me say it's five here. Five minus two equals three which is the blue case where when epsilon equals 3. Now, for a 90% you will see that you need about 1.2 cubic meters to get that conversion, whereas for the one, the base case, the green one, you will need only, let's say, 0.4 cubic meters. So you need three times more volume for the same conversion just because the reaction is giving you three moles extra. And as you can see, probably if you had extra epsilons, you will have something like this. And eventually, it will be impossible to achieve, well, maybe I'm exaggerating, but it will be very, very hard, or at least not economically viable, to make that huge reactors. So you will probably change reactors or do something about it. Now, that was positive uh, creation. When do you have a negative uh, change? it is actually better for us because then you can see here we need less uh, volume for the same conversion so hopefully you get the idea on the first order uh, gas phase PFR we're going to analyze in the next video the second order gas phase PFR <laughs>
If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher and the engineer get the best of each other. So thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.